Good morning, all, and happy Easter to those of you that celebrate. It's Easter morning. Easter road trip is on its last day. And again, like I told you before, last day is just driving. So we're heading back to Virginia Beach. We just stopped at Starbucks. I just took my vitamins. The windshield is clean, probably for two minutes, and you might actually not see dead bugs smushed on it. So that's that. So we're hoping for a nice, clear, easy, non-accident, non-not moving on the highway trip. Okay. And uh, perhaps we'll even stop and give you some scenic views. But for now, let's hit the road. Uh, okay, kids, I don't want to say that this was halfway, but halfway-ish is where we stop, same place. We still have three hours and six minutes, theoretically, provided there's absolutely no traffic and no more stops. Another 203 miles. <sighs> and, and neither one of us wants to be in this freaking vehicle right now. So, yeah, kind of sucks, but at least it's sunny and, you know, steady moving traffic. So, off on wood. <laughs> Onwards! Okay, kids, we actually did not miss the scenic overlooks, although the first one was closed and under construction, but here's what we were going to look at. Because that's black. Ooh, ah. Look at all that. This is about as mountainous as we're gonna get here. Here's the view on that side. It is actually quite a gorgeous day out. It's a little chilly. I, I don't know, this week the temperature's supposed to drop. I almost fell out of the chair last night when I saw it was supposed to be in the 20s, but <laughs> that's back at my mother-in-law's, not in Virginia Beach. But it's still gonna go down into like the, the upper 40s, low 50s, but the 40s is bad enough, Virginia Beach. I mean, it's like just torturing us going back and forth. Just be nice already, you know? But that's about it. So, all right, enough of the scenic overlook, but there's really nothing else for me to say. So you got the view. We still have three hours to go, which we're not thrilled with, but such is life, right? Life on the road, man. Okay, kids, we're gonna wrap this up pretty quick. I have been nonstop busy since I got home. When I get home, I gotta put everything away. Takes everything out of the suitcases, out of my bags, put things where they belong so that I'm back in my element and everything is good to go. Since then, I also had to go pick up a package. So you're not gonna be able to see it and it's not gonna look any different, but the indices in there, I have already taken this watch completely apart and went in and put the new glow-in-the-dark indices in there. And there's no way that I'm gonna turn all these lights off to show you, because you're never gonna be able to see it anyways. Take my word for it. It glows in the dark now, and I'm happy about it. So I got all that done, and then I started to do the laundry. We got Taco Hell for dinner. Happy Easter. And ate that, and then it came up, and I sort separated the laundry. I got that in there, it's going. And then I decided that I'm gonna sell the Sony A7C and the 40 millimeter f2.5. So I had to get all that shit ready. Problem is, is that I couldn't remember where the hell I put the cages. I thought I only had two cages, the one that was on the camera, and then another small red cage. Turns out I had two more cages for it, so a total of three cages for it, and the little eyepiece thing that went into the hot shoe, and then I couldn't find the hot shoe cap. 
So it took me forever to find that, and it was one of the first places I looked. I just didn't look good enough. So I got all that shit together, set up a little makeshift studio, and this time I remembered to put my damn name and the date on it, and I took pictures of everything. Last night I posted in the A7C group that I was gonna be selling those two items, the A7C and the 40 millimeter and said that I'm on the road though, so I'll put you know more detailed stuff when I post it, when I get home tomorrow, which is today. And then I actually had a couple people reach out to me today whilst I was driving saying, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, look, you're gonna have to wait until I get home, I'm driving home. And then I thought, I really don't wanna do this, but I said I was going to, so that's all done now. Now I'm gonna have to go in after I edit this video and get it posted and I'll go in and, and I'll answer everybody and perhaps I will even put it in this for sale, this like the, I guess it's a Sony sales group. Sorry, the taco hell's coming up. So I'm gonna get all that shit done tonight. I'm not doing any day job work, screw that. I, I made sure I did it all before I left. So now tomorrow I can just do my normal stuff and I'll be good to go. Back to work though tomorrow, tomorrow's Monday. So that means calls, multiple calls, getting all my shit ready, booking my hotel, and then back on the road to go back up to Maryland. And I'll be up driving up Tuesday and coming back. I'll try to film something whatever I can. Tomorrow's also supposed to be rainy and shitty and the temperature's supposed to drop this week. Ick. So that's that. And for now, that's pretty much all you got. So we had a good time this weekend. Too much driving for me. Like it's, it's whooped me. Again, I'm gonna have driven by the time I go up to Maryland and back this week in, in roughly seven-ish days, I will have driven over 2,500 miles. And that's just way the hell too much. I can't do that. that I'm, I'm not ever gonna do that again. <laughs> that was just brutal. So I'm pretty happy to not be in the forerunner right now. So that's it. That's all you get for today. Hope you enjoyed the three day Easter road trip videos. Uh, if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.